are Indians obese? As per Global Obesity Observatory's report, India ranks 187th in the list of 200 countries in terms of obese adult male and 194th, 162nd and 196th in terms of obese adult female, obese children male and obese children female respectively. The Composite Obesity Risk Score of India is 7 out of 10 which is on a higher side. This score further breaks down to the fact that 25% of male adult, 23% of female adult, 4% of male children and 3% of female children are either obese or overweight. Overweight condition is defined as body mass index or BMI of 25 kg per meter square or 29.9 kg per meter square and obesity as BMI of 30 kg per meter square and above in adults. For children, overweight condition is defined as weight that is 1 or 2 standard deviations above the median and obesity as more than 2 standard deviations above the median. But how does this impact India economically? Overweight conditions and obesity, the two common lifestyle problems, were annually costing India $25 billion, Rs 2 lakh crores. That's approximately 0.8% of its current GDP in the year 2019. If steps are not taken to cut the fat, India will suffer a loss of nearly $479 billion or Rs 39 lakh crores, which will be 2.75% of its GDP in the year 2060. This projected economic cost of overweight conditions and obesity is the third highest in the world after China that is $10 trillion and the USA $2.5 trillion as per the reports published in BMJ Global Health. But how does obesity impact a country's GDP? The cost majorly includes two parts, diet cost and indirect cost. Diet cost further includes medical and non-medical costs. Non-medical cost includes travel and caregiver cost. The indirect costs include premature mortality and productivity losses whereas the productivity losses includes absenteeism and presentism cost. According to the World Obesity Federation, medical fees make up nearly 99.8% of direct cost on an average across all countries. The cost of premature mortality contributes to a significant portion that is 69% on an average of all indirect costs. Indirect costs have a greater impact on GDP rather than direct costs. The projection of BMJ Global Health for India on account of direct and indirect medical costs can be seen here. This research shows India cannot afford to ignore the looming overweight and obesity crisis and its associated costs. Addressing the root causes of the issue now will help to prevent the economic impact from increasing and ensure the entire population are living happy and healthy lives. Obesity isn't just a cosmetic concern, it's a medical problem that increases the risk of other diseases and health problems, such as heart disease and strokes type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, digestive problems, sleep apnea, arthritis, and certain cancers like uterus, cervix, ovary, breast, colon, liver, kidney, etc. Although there are genetic, behavioral, metabolic, and hormonal influences on body weight, obesity occurs when you take in more calories than you burn through normal daily activities and exercise. Your body stores these excess calories as fat. Obesity usually results from a combination of causes and contributing factors like family inheritance and influences, also called as genetics, lifestyle choices like unhealthy diet, liquid calories, and inactivity. Certain diseases and medications such as Prader-Willi syndrome, Cushing syndrome, arthritis, social and economic issues like not having safe area to walk or exercise, no access to healthy ways of cooking or healthier foods, age, as you age, Hormonal changes and less active lifestyle increases your risk of obesity. Other factors like pregnancy, quitting smoking, lack of sleep and stress can also lead to increased weight in one or other way. Obesity can diminish the overall quality of life. Issues that may affect your quality of life include depression, disability, shame and guilt, social isolation, lower work achievement, etc. Obesity can be controlled at personal level by choosing healthier foods and beverages. Limiting unhealthy foods and beverages, increasing physical activities, limiting screen time and other sit time, improving sleep and reducing stress. At state and national level, public health officials need to take this issue seriously. Certain steps that could be taken to control obesity and overweight conditions among Indians can be restrict the marketing of unhealthy food products, advanced food labeling that will include full nutritional information helping individuals to make conscious choices. Calorie reduction by food industry through reformulation and or product size reduction to help individuals consume fewer calories without having to make conscious changes. Living sugar tax. Increasing the tax on higher sugar products will reduce their consumption due to high product price and force the manufacturer to reformulate the product with lower sugar percentage. 
formulate a robust national plan and guidelines on preventing and managing obesity among children and adults. Sporting activities can be supported by the government at all levels, which will encourage children to take up the sports or any other physical activities. So be healthy and save yourself along with your country from a huge economic, physical, psychological, emotional and social loss. I hope you have liked today's video. Consider subscribing to my channel for more of such videos. See you in the next episode. Till then, take care.